Malaria is an infection with one-celled protozoans called plasmodia. Plasmodia spend some stages of their lives in female Anopheles mosquitoes and some stages in people. A female mosquito sucks in plasmodia when she takes blood from a person infected with malaria. In her intestine, male and female forms of plasmodia combined into zygotes. Zygotes burrow into cells in her intestine and form tiny cysts. Within each tiny cyst, the zygote divides many times. Eventually, the tiny cyst bursts and plasmodia migrate to the mosquito's salivary glands. She can now inject plasmodia into a new victim. Dr. Somchai, please help me. I've had a fever for the last two days. I have aches and pains all over my body. I haven't been able to do anything since I've been sick. All right, Mr. A, let me take some blood to test for malaria. Mr. A, your fever is due to malaria. Malaria? What should I do? Is there a cure for it? Don't worry, Mr. A. Malaria can be treated. I'm going to give you some medication for this. Here are your anti-malarial drugs. You need to take the whole course, even if your symptoms are gone. Dr. Somchai, I have fever again. I just had malaria two weeks ago. Can you help me? Okay, we will need to run a blood test to confirm the cause of the fever. Miss Malie, I'm afraid that you have malaria again. Really? I have only just recovered from malaria. How have I caught it again? Did you take the complete course of medicine last time? I took the drugs for two days, but stopped taking them once I felt better. Malaria is a very serious infection. Malaria parasites are often still in the body, even if your fever and symptoms are gone. If you don't keep taking anti-malarial drugs while malaria parasites remain in the body, the parasites will continue to replicate and make you sick again. Importantly, the parasites that survive the drug treatment may become resistant to the drug. Then the drug can no longer kill these parasites. If this happens, you may have more severe symptoms and can even die from malaria. Wait, Dr. Somchai, can we really die from malaria? Absolutely. The malaria parasites that are resistant to anti-malarial drugs can also be transmitted to other people. If these parasites are passed on to children, the drugs that we have may not work. They might be seriously ill and could even die from malaria. Oh no! I can't believe that not completing the course of anti-malarial drugs can have such serious consequences. It's definitely a serious problem. From now on, I will take the entire course of drugs, as you said. But why am I only given the drugs for three days, when some people have to take anti-malarial drugs for 14 days? Good question. In Thailand, there are two types of malaria parasites. The type of drugs and length of treatment depend on the type of malaria the person has, their age, whether they are pregnant, and how sick they are at the start of the treatment. Whatever type of malaria infection you have, it's vital to take the complete course of medication you are given by your doctor. It's also very important to follow the dosage direction. Taking more than the recommended dosage at one time can make you sick and will not help you get better any quicker. Thing, I will definitely take the complete course of anti-malarial drugs. I don't want to expose children to a higher risk of the disease. I would feel terrible. No problem. The best way to minimize the risk is making sure everyone who has malaria takes their anti-malarial drugs completely as well.